Okay, we're on a field, as usual. <laughs> and this is the first decent find for about 10 hours. That's why I haven't been posting. I don't uh, post uh, messing around in mud. Anyhow. So there we are. That's how it came out. And how it, how it was on the ground. So, looks, to me it looks like a shilling. But worn. There we go. It's quite nice, isn't it? Well worn on that side. And Oh, that's a lovely coin. How about that? Excellent. Chuff to that, was it? George, George the Third. We've all got some markings on this. It's not very well hammered or not hammered milled though. On the edges and stuff. find some gold please that so yeah 1815 e track the sun ray and this is on the kind of like the top and that is silver yes good but uh, what it is I don't know It'll be interesting to watch that so let's go and find some Last knockings on this field. Uh, it's about half three. I'm going dark in England now. Awful weather. So next to this wriggly worm, in this hole, nothing that special. But so normally that is like pretty average and all that kind of stuff. But turn it over, and it's a nice, it's a nice button. Be just silver plates, but uh, unusual that the silver plate is uh, still on it. And it's about five inches down, and the worm is down in its hole again. The worm is back in the hole. Good. Right, let's go. Well, I thought I'd just record this, which is the silver bag ish, whatever it is. Silver colour. Can't be chained now. There you go. Definitely silver. I'll put the coin later. <laughs> Okay, here's my bits for today. The ice is helping me. Are you helping me, Isis? It's more interesting than the Hoover. Come on, Isis. So yeah, this is what I got out of my bag. Threw a bit of tin can stuff away. Lead and stuff. There's quite a lot of scrap lead. Shrapnel. Yeah, find a lot of those. I think they're for cat's ears. Ice has come to help me. Come on, Ice, there's any stones for you? That could be interesting. I'm 
Ginger, this is, I like this. That's a musket ball, obviously. This is interesting. Oh, it's silver. It's really heavy. And this is a pewter like that. I'm sure, but it's really heavy. Could be a really posh button. Could be silver, I'm not sure. Probably pewter, but I don't know how uh, pewter would uh, disintegrate in the soil. Silver wouldn't, obviously, and that hasn't, and it's heavy, as I said. So, anyhow, I'll do around. Okay, quick run through. Uh, quite a good day actually. Uh, four hours with the track 1815 with Sunray Pro. Uh, this is my scrap stuff, stuff so that's shrapnel. I should, should have cleaned that up. But anyhow, I don't know what that is. Uh, scrap lead. This is uh, something. Could actually be water on this. I think it's a part of an old fire extinguisher, but it's not sure. And that's about that on that side of the thing. So going on to the good stuff, goodish, maybe. Judge for yourself. Anyhow, so four coins. Uh, there's a Victorian one, a Elizabeth one. Pretty rubbish anyhow. So that that is kind of like scrap bronze, really heavy. It's kind of got a green tincture or whatever it is to it. So, so that could have been could have been interesting. Not space for me, I think. This is this is old. Probably off a, a trunk or something, but uh, really old, really heavy. That, that could be old. It's got some markings on it. Could be off a bowl or something, I don't know. That's probably old. Special. Two musket balls. A lead token. Yeah, this is interesting. This is uh, really heavy, and could be a foot or something. Yeah, it's actually so. It's a lion's foot of a uh, well, of a figure. Not a lion's foot, but some kind of foot. Interesting. Really heavy. Really on. So that is that button. That's probably 18th century is my guess. Anyone can, can correct me, but uh, see the quality of the silver on it. Or how it's stayed on there. Moving on to a coin that uh, yes, yeah, really badly pressed kind of thing. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't get a date off it. It's William the Third. Uh, oh no, sorry, George the Third. So, uh, should have found out before I did the video. But anyway, there he is, George the Third. I think he was the Mad, Mad King George, wasn't he? I'm not sure. I'm full of not sure's. I could have scraped it there. Probably didn't. Anyhow, the pièce de re résistance. I've been really thinking about this, and this is the most delicate uh, silver thingy. When I was playing around with it in the field, it uh, it had it appeared to be t the bottom of something with a thing going down the middle so you've got two sides and you've got a thing going down the middle and that was what this is and I think this is the remnants of a really old 
silver purse. Uh, let me see if I can fiddle around with it and show you. See, really fine work. Uh, if it was like Victorian, it would be much, uh, much more mechanised. So I don't know whether that's hand done. I really don't know, but it's a beautiful thing. And it was weird that it was that song was playing when Isis was playing with it. Worked that one out. Uh, so yeah, I think that's really old. So if anyone's got any advice, see how intricate it is. it could have been for something completely different but anyhow how beautiful is that and it's really heavy made from silver really expensive uh, repetition of the words really so beautiful piece of silver of a silver something George badly pressed or badly stamped coin All in all, a good day. I don't think this was a little token. See how badly it's stamped on that side. Anyhow, so there you go. Uh, I hope you find some gold. Take care.